right, Jim Horton, Pat Hammond here, Hoosier Herpetological Society. We are herping these railroad tracks here in southern Illinois. It's, late, uh, it's actually early October and a great time to find animals getting ready to uh, find their hibernacula. This is a really nice size. Whoa! Um, it's a Nerodia, it's a water snake. It's actually a, uh, kind of an intergrade between a copper belly and a uh, copper belly. Yellow belly. And a yellow belly, thank you. So it uh, looks a little bit like a copper belly water snake. Looks a lot like a cotton mouth. They have the same keeled scales, same dark coloration as adult cotton mouths, and they'll fool you. And this one has not attempted to bite. I cannot believe this animal has not attempted to bite at all. Real, oh, real, real interesting animals. And, and when they're lying down here like this, they look a lot like cotton mouths. They really do. It's a pretty good sized animal. It's probably almost three feet in length. And, uh, he's up here sunning himself. We just found him out in the open. He still is whipping around, but has not attempted to strike at all. So it's pretty good, pretty good to pick up one of these and not get bitten. All right. All right, Pat is going to attempt to get near this rather large cotton mouth, which is on the left of this log in the water here. It's a big one. It's a really big one. And uh, he might just spook it. It may not even be alive, but it sure looks like it's just kind of sunning itself there. No, I don't think it's alive. No? No. No. Ah! I'll be darned. Well, we did reach. We retrieved this dead cotton mouth, and now it's starting to attract flies. And, uh, here's the fang. One of the fangs that we're able to see up close here. Of a deceased cotton mouth. So. Pretty cool. Thanks for helping. We're gonna put it back somewhere. Where the scavengers can get to it. That's a good looking copper. Copperhead. Oh my god. Was it just laying out? Mm-hmm. He's crossing. They're going to be excited. Do you guys mind if I got a picture? Go right ahead. Western cottonmouth, a nice big fat one. Big fat one, found in the shade here. And it's really spreading. A potent musk. <laughs> Very upset with us here. Let's see, I think we're gonna let him go. We're gonna get a shot of his open mouth here. And you can see the glottis when it, when it starts to breathe. Especially where the tongue is, right down here, called the glottis. Fangs right up here on your left and right. There it is, there's the open glottis there. Open and close. Western cottonmouth. So here we are at the base of this big, big bluff here, and uh, we got a little, little youngster making his way up. Good looking little young western cottonmouth here, sulfur yellow tail. He's clinging to the side here, he's kind of slow I'm sure, whoops. 
There he is. Making his way up. And I didn't even see him. I was up here looking this way. I thought I saw a snake. And indeed I did. I saw a little bit larger one. And it is uh, right up here. It's clinging to the side. Which is really pretty cool. It's about the highest I've ever seen a, a cotton mouth. Any kind of a kister don't travel. He's up on the wall. <laughs> up pretty darn far. As you can see, if I can get up here. He's clinging to the wall. He's clinging to it. Just like a rat snake. There's the head going down the tail. Back ends down here. Pretty cool. We're back at another spot today here in southern Illinois. In October. Early October. Beautiful day, 75 degrees. And we've lifted some real nice southern black razor. Which has in turn musked all over the place. That's okay. We like the smell of musk. Prairie razor. It was found under the tin here. We'll be back. Another species to add to the list here in southern Illinois. As you can see he's he, he's uh, rattling his tail. Another tail rattler here. Little of these colubrids rattle their tails. Try to give you that. Well, I'll try to warn you. And it scares a lot of folks into thinking that these are dangerous pit vipers. But he's a He's definitely musked everywhere and discharged a lot of his feces, feces, feces everywhere. And he's uh, not happy. He was snug down in some, some damp dirt underneath this cover that we found, all this cover here. He's kind of blended into it, kind of sunk down in it. So this is pretty much a black king snake with some speculation in it. What they call what, an intergrade speckled king snake, black king snake. Shawnee King is local. The name. Shawnee King. So it's so nice, belly. nice to see these. Got a real pretty belly there. Let me just show that. Pretty belly. Oh, it's, let me get a hold of them here. It really is not a happy, happy camper. See the belly? The belly? Okay, bringing it around. Hard, hard to get a shot of that. Very nice. Good find. Another one to add to the list.